Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at PSA's DV diesel engine family. This family of diesel engines is more commonly known today by the acronym Blue HDI. Among the many engine families born from a collaboration between two car manufacturers, one is still used in many cars today. It's the DV family of four-cylinder diesel engines from PSA, developed in partnership with Ford through an agreement signed in 1998. The goal of the collaboration between the two manufacturers was to develop and produce engines that offered better performance and lower fuel consumption than previous models by using lighter materials and technologies such as common rail injection and turbocharging. PSA developed three versions of this engine with displacements of 1.4, 1.5, and 1.6 liters. The DV4 version. Developed to replace the 1.9 liter XU series engine, the DV4 was the first engine in the DV series produced in collaboration with Ford. Characterized by a displacement of 1,398 cubic centimeters, a bore of 73.7 millimeters, and a stroke of 82 millimeters, the DV4 was an engine that prioritized low-end torque over high-end power. Made almost entirely of aluminum alloy, except for the cast iron cylinder liners, the DV4 featured a single overhead camshaft with two valves per cylinder and a KK turbocharger without an intercooler. One version of the engine, designated DV4 TED4, had a double overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder. With a compression ratio of 17.9 to 1, power ranging from 54 to 90 horsepower, and maximum torque from 130 to 200 newton meters, the DV4 was used in several PSA models before being phased out in 2015 because it no longer complied with the new Euro 6 emission standards. The second engine in PSA's DV family, introduced in 2003, was the DV6, which first appeared under the hood of the Peugeot 206 1.6 liter HDI. Derived from the DV4, borrowing components such as the intake assembly, fuel supply system, and water circulation system, the DV6 had a bore of 75 millimeters and a stroke of 88.3 millimeters for a total displacement of 1,560 cubic centimeters. The common rail direct injection fuel system was electronically controlled by a Siemens ECU, while the Garrett turbocharger featured variable geometry and an overboost function for temporarily increasing available torque. Although early versions of the DV6 had a dual camshaft distribution system, PSA later opted for a simpler single camshaft system. The DV6, which was joined and then replaced by the DV5 starting in 2017, was used in a large number of Citroen, Peugeot, DS, and Opel models, with power outputs ranging from 75 to 120 horsepower. Initially produced at the Duvrum plant and, since 2018, also at the Tremory plant, the DV5 was first installed in the Peugeot 308 before being used in many other models, some of which are still on the market. Born from the redesign of the Ford DLD 415 engine after the two manufacturers ended their collaboration, due to PSA's partnership with General Motors, Ford's historic rival, the DV5 has a displacement of 1,499 cubic centimeters with a bore and stroke of 75 millimeters and 84.8 millimeters, respectively. Equipped with a dual overhead camshaft system with four valves per cylinder, the DV5 is available in several versions that differ in the type of turbocharger used, whether fixed or variable geometry. Fuel is delivered by piezoelectric injectors with seven ports and a supply pressure of 2,000 bar, while maximum power and torque vary between 75 and 130 horsepower and between 230 and 300 newton meters. That's the end of this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content.